This video is brought to you by the Patreons. All these wonderful people on screen are the reason this video exists and allow the editor of this video, Schmeichel, a good half portion of gruel at least once a week. We spoil him here. Now, while searching through my favorite game genre, I happen to come across something quite different, healing puzzle games. Now, you guys know I love puzzle games. One included in this bundle is Mon Cage, one of my favorite puzzle games. And this comes with four more, and hovering over all of these, they are all overwhelmingly positive. So I quickly snapped them up for a bargain rate of 26 squid, and then loaded up Gorogoa. Now, I have actually seen this game before. I think it's sort of like, a, almost like a storybook sort of thing. So, what is that? What is that? It's like a huge dragon thing. Oh, we're looking out a window. Yeah, this bloke's confused. He's like me. Me before I grew a hard hat. Oh, he's he's finding what it is. It's a fish. Is it a fish? No, is it is it coral? It's not it's not coral meat. It's not pipes. That's what it is. That is what it is. So what is it? Well, if we click on this, it's is that a fruit bowl? I don't know. Let's zoom back out again. Oh look, see you're right now, mate. What's wrong? You look sad. Oh, it's gone. Anyway, so that's that. Oh, this crosshair is a bit Oh I can move I can move the window. Where should we go? Should we look out there? All right, so what if we press the minus? That zooms us out. <laughs> so weird, there's like, there's nothing there. And then there's an arrow there. What does the arrow do? Oh, there's a door. The kid's in the door. He's thinking about the fruit bowl. He's like, I want a bowl of my own. Oh, there, he's got the fruit bowl. Now we just need to find the fruit. All right, so now if we, if we zoom in on this door. Oh, look, we've lined up the doors the same. So can we like put them on to, oh, look, I can take that off. I can take that off. So now he is there. He's just come out of his cupboard, like, where the shit am I? <laughs> what am I going to do with this fruit now? Is he just going to chuck it off the edge? And then over here, we've got another door with some crutches there. If we move that way... Oh, look, there's the bloke. And there's a bird. So let's zoom in on the bird. What are you doing, bird? Uh, I guess we can then move... Yeah, we can move that one down. So what's he... He's thinking about... Oh, do we need to find something with that symbol on? Is that what we're trying to do here? Let's zoom out of this one. Oh, look, there's an apple up there. Let's zoom in on that. Oh, look, it's the branch. Oh, we're like... We're linking stuff together. All right, so this kid then, if we zoom in on the fruit... Oh, am I going to have to catch it in the fruit bowl? I literally am. It was a fruit bowl. <laughs> I thought I was just telling a terrible joke, but it actually is fruit. Yeah, look at him. He's like, oh, we've got an apple. Now we just need the other fruits. Okay, so now it appears we can zoom out on all of these. So let's just do that all at once just to get really confusing. So kid is after a green apple. So I guess we can zoom into... Oh, is that is that one in there? Oh, this is a clue, I think. So the green apple, it's on a statue in someone's hand. Okay, so this one we can zoom in over here. Does that look like... Yeah, not really seeing anything there. Let's zoom back out again. Oh, no, look, the guy's saying he wants someone to walk up there with a fruit bowl. So I'm guessing that's where this guy ends up. So I guess for now, let's zoom out of this one. And if we zoom in on this, can we... Oh, look, we can we can drag that over thing. Oh, actually, I can drag all of these over. I keep forgetting that mechanic. Okay, so if we zoom back into that, then surely we can grab this kid. And then, yeah, he goes in there. And then we move this down. And now he's in that scene going up there, which is what the person in the wheelchair wanted to see. Nice. Okay, so there's a door there we can zoom into. And that's going to get him back, I think. So if we shove that up there, then he's back here. Oh, look, there's a sign there. So we'll move that down. And now he's heading over that direction. Heading towards where the apple is, I think. So let's go click in here and see where he's gone. So he's looking at that. So we need to we need to unbrick that somehow, I guess. Oh, look, he's sad. <laughs> yeah, we can zoom in on this sign. So I imagine if we... Was there like a doorway in one of this one? Was it up? Oh, look, actually, it's looking like a statue. Can I move? Oh, I can move that out of the way. If I shove that there... Oh, look, I can then, I can then move this. Anyway, if we zoom out this top one, is there anything? What about that pillow? Oh, actually, that pillow. Can we... Oh, no, we can't. We can't. What are we... Hey, that's the that's the scene from the last one. Cool. Oh, actually, this is a clue as well, isn't it? It's saying grab the star and put it in the lantern, I think. So that's the lantern. Okay, we've got to look out for a star at some point then. Uh, but for now, what am I doing with this one? If we Oh, what about that shape there? Oh, Matt, idiot, idiot. Put it there, you knob. Okay, so now he can go into the garden to try and find the apple, I imagine. So if we click on that, we're now in there. Yes. And if we click back on this. Oh, there's the clue all along. That was the wall that I just put it on. Oh, I need to pay attention to these. So in the hand is the apple. So we've got to we've got to get that out somehow. Are you just going to do that for me or do I actually have to do something? We've got the we've got the fruit basket there. Let's zoom in. So how do we get that green? It says up here we need... 
like an eye in it or something. So I guess we've got to go, do we have to look for an eye? I mean, can we look through it with the lantern? No, I think the lantern's like a later on one for a star or something. I mean, the obvious thing to do, which I always keep forgetting, is drag it off. Yes, okay, so now we've got that. We can zoom out on that. Oh, and that is the eye now. So if we zoom out, oh look, here we go, here we go. We got this kid thinking about, oh, is he thinking about a different sort of eye? So if we zoom in on this fire, what have we got up there? What have we got up there? Let's keep zooming in on this. Oh my goodness, it just keeps on going. Uh, so now, can I drag, oh, I can drag, oh look. Oh, up there, there's an eyeball. So do I get rid of that? Oh, oh, it moved. It moved. Okay, so I imagine I can now put this up there. And then that is a Granny Smith, if ever I've seen a Granny Smith apple. Uh, my favorite type of apple, in case you're wondering. So with the apple in the bowl, we can then zoom out. And then, yes, he takes that. He's like, oh, look, there's an apple in there. And he walks off with it. He sat there looking at it. Now he's thinking about the lemon. Okay, so let's zoom out and then, oh no, look, it's the kid in the will, well, the crippled kid thinking about the other kid, thinking about the lemon, and then he's just flipping through his book. Oh, look, and he's found, he's found that candles and moths are oh, thing. Oh man, he's not, <laughs> he's not having the best of times, this kid. All right, anyway, let's zoom in on this. This looks sort of intriguing to me. Um, I feel like, is that going to be like a star behind there? And that's where we put the, the lantern. Potentially, because I see a star. I mean, could I? Yeah, I think potentially that's probably what we're going to do. Let's zoom out and see what else is going on. Uh, so not not a lot, actually. Okay, we'll stay zoomed in on that. And then, oh, look, the bottom one, the, the sky's changed color. It's got like nighttime, so we can go up into the sky. Oh, that's where the star's going to be. So we'll drag that down. There's the star. We've caught it. So now we can zoom out on that one. Oh man, I am loving this game. This is so like interesting. I just, I have like no idea what's going to happen, but it's just like constant awesomeness. It's so pretty as well. Like fair play, whoever like did the art for this. All right, so now we've got, we can zoom in. I think that's like what we've done. That's the puzzle we've completed. Is there anything else in this room? Oh, there is a mirror up here. So we can go through that. Oh, we can keep, we can keep going through. And then, oh look, the star is beaming in the sky. It's radiating. Uh, so do we... Do we click on that again? Oh, look at it. It's so star-like. Okay, I think there's nothing there. But if we click on this, then is that one we can move? I mean, we can, but there's like, there's nothing to look at yet. What well, if we zoom out of this one? Oh, there you go. Look, he's thinking about a light. And there is the light. I can't just shove it on there, can I? No. Yeah, but the clue there is like a hand. Oh, and that hand, look, it's up there. So if we zoom back in on that. Oh, I didn't see that before. So somehow we need to link these two together. And I have noticed when I drag this one, can you see like the the lamp thing? Like it goes see-through. So maybe, so maybe we need to find something to rest that on. Oh, actually, I've just realized something. I've just realized they're in like the same room. Like that wallpaper's the same. So if I if I shove that down there, and then if I zoom in on that one, like look how close, look how similar they are. If I zoom in on that, yes, yes, I did it. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I love games like this. So we've got this on a bit of a wonk. I think we can, oh yeah, we can zoom in on that. And then we can take that off. And then, oh, look, we got some pencils. So let's zoom back out and see what we're actually looking at. We got some some space coordinates and stuff. Sort of looks like a bit of a snake going on there or something. Uh, this one we can zoom out as well. And then we're back to that. Do we just put that over there? No, no, zoom in first. Yeah, that's it. And then put that over. No, no, that, that didn't work at all. So what about trying to put one of these in this thing? So I can zoom in on that. I don't think that's very helpful. I can zoom in on the asteroid. Is that helpful? I mean, it lines up with that. So when we zoom out, oh, it's filled up with rocks. So now when we zoom out, oh, I thought I thought that being filled with rocks would like make it heavier. Actually, we can zoom in on that. That's got like a screw in it. Oh, then we can take that off and then zoom out again. Ooh, what do we have here? What do we have here? It's like a it's like a horse crossed with a mermaid. It's a it's a mer horse or a horse maid. I, no, I think that's something different. Uh, there's also a cloud down here. Well, it's not cloud. It's like cotton wool. But I'm guessing it's going to be a cloud when we put that back onto it and then zoom out. Yeah, because now this side's light. That side's heavy. Oh, we've tilted it over and moved the lamp to that side now. Which means if we zoom out on that one, can we do a bit of that? Yes, we've lit up the lamp again. And the moth has been attracted to it. So let's zoom in on the moth, I guess. And ooh, it's got, oh, it's got the lemon thing. It's got the lemon we've got to find. So we can move that up there and then zoom out on this bottom one as a bloke pointing and the creatures in the background again. 
And I tell you what, does anyone else see that? That is not just me. That cannot be just me. This building has been engineered, not architectured. I mean, look at the shape of that. That is not just me. Even this bloke is pointing at it, this statue. He's like, that is a magnificent feat of engineering. Yes, it is, Mr. Man. Yes, this is. All right, so this top one, we're going to zoom out of that. So we've taken that off the moth. Sorry, little mate, if you wanted that. Uh, we can keep zooming out. So we're back to this. He's like, oh, the, the light's back on. I can read my book again now. Cheers, Matt. And he's thinking about this statue. So we got to be pointing at the sun. So if I zoom in up to it, I can... Oh, I can just shove it down there. There you go. Easy. Easy, mate. I know it wasn't meant to be a challenge. It's just... <laughs> It's just like a beautiful puzzle game, but I'm loving this. All right, so the kid went left, so I'm guessing we want to go left and see where he's got to. Oh, no. The merhorse got destroyed. Look, its head and its fin is down there. If we zoom out of that. Okay, so that's just back to that. So this person's still reading about the merhorse. Oh, it's a constellation. Okay, we'll move this way. And oh, look, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like a bit of horse stuff down here. So perhaps we can rebuild the horse. Let's zoom in over here. Oh, look, there's loads, there's loads of stuff going on over it. So we'll keep going through this window and we have another person thinking about stuff. There's a lot of reading in this game. Like, not reading for me, but watching other people read. So they're worried about some sort of apocalypse. Uh, let's zoom in on this. So there's, oh, look, there's a moth. That moth's like broken the dome. It's like playing dome keeper, but like the reverse, the creatures on the inside of the dome, not, not me. Oh, maybe I was the creature of that game. I never thought about it like that. Um, we've got that, so I assume, yeah, I can put that over something. Maybe, can we find a light in this one? We can go back to the light up top. Oh, look, the lightning made that fall off. What's that doing? Oh, there's like, I think there's thunder outside. Oh, look, they, yeah, they are, they're falling down. So are we filling that up with, with stones or something? It seems to be like never ending. Can we zoom, we can zoom in on that. Oh, I reckon I, I know what I gotta do. I gotta put this up there. And then is that gonna fall? Hang on, let's zoom out, let's zoom out. We've got to try and link these up so the rock smashes the moth, I reckon. Yeah, if I... <laughs> I need to hold it about there, I reckon. So the rock falls down and then... Yeah, I think it's a bit more complicated than that, Matt. Oh, I have just spoiled this, though. The horse and that thing. If we can zoom in like that. Now they're linked. So if we, if we now zoom... Can we move right at all? Or do I just need to wait for the thunder? No, there's no thunder. Okay, I'm guessing I need to do this a bit later then. Perhaps I need to find another way to link them for now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look, I recognize that pattern. It's on that one. So if we zoom in there. Right, so now when the rock falls down, it's not going to smash the glass. It's going to come down. It's going to bonk off that. And it's on top of the scaffolding. And it's going down there. Oh, where's it going? Where's this rock going? Ooh. Okay, so perhaps while it's falling, let's zoom out of this one, and then we got to try and get to the moth. Oh, I, I think I've worked out. Okay, I think I've worked it out. So we got to get the rock onto this one, and then look at the look at the patterns down the bottom. So now it's in there. We move that up there, move this under here, and then zoom out, zoom in down there, and now it's linked to that. This is it. This is actually it. So now the rock's on that one. We move that up there, move this down there, and then we've just got to zoom in to that and to that. So then the rock comes down. Oh man, it was way more complicated than I thought it was going to be. But we did it. We we smashed the thing and the moth is free almost. Yep, there it goes. You're free. You can go wherever you want. Uh, so I'm guessing we need to find we need to find some light for it. Now the light is up there. So how do I get that into this scene? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, if I drag this and put it there, like that should work, right? Go on moth, go towards it. <laughs> Uh, what about this guy? Oh, we can actually zoom in on the horse. We can zoom right in on the horse. The consolation horse. And then what do we do with this? Oh, we can drag this around anywhere. So there's a star. There's the moon. I assume I want a star to go in this, right? So if I leave that there and drag this up, then that lights the lamp up. The moth is attracted to the flame. And then we can zoom in on the moth because we've got, we got that little lemon that we want to get out of him. Uh, so drag that down, and then this top one will zoom out. So it's back in the statue's hand, which is good. So this bottom one will zoom out. There's the moth again. Uh, and then I guess we just keep zooming out. Are you going to think anything different now, mate? Done. Oh, look, when we zoom out now, these should link together. If I go, if I go like that, do they, 
No, they don't quite link. I mean, they're pretty close to linking. Like, surely that way round, that links, doesn't it? Because, look, the leaves on that side are the same. Oh, yeah, look, now I've got an arrow. Yes, so I move over that way, and then the kid can walk across. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now we're following the kid. He went this way. What's he thinking about? He's thinking about that creature again. It's like, I've got to find all the fruit from my fruit bowl. So we'll zoom out on this one. And, oh, there's someone else reading a book. Who'd have thought it? What's he thinking about? A uh, sky dragon thing. Oh, all different times. Times and stars. Okay, well, let's see what's going on on this one then. So if we go, if we zoom back in. So, oh, look, he's moved. The person's not there anymore. We do have this thing. And that's got, ooh, a timer valvey thing on it. So I assume I need to match that somehow. So do we need like another hand or something? Um, I mean, oh, I can I can pick this up. So maybe, is there anything on that we can zoom in on? No, there isn't. Oh, I can just move, I can move that. I can move it. So now we've got a briefcase and a park. Um, so let's zoom out of that. Oh, look, he's, he's spying at the time. The time over here is that. So if we zoom in on it, we can take that off. We can... Well, we can shove it straight on there. That doesn't seem to do anything, though. We can also just shove it up there if we want it up there. Um, if we zoom out... Oh, look, now it's now it's a different one. Oh, so we can go to that and then shove that back on. Or do we want to try and combine the... Yeah, combine these and then put that on. And then zoom out of there. And is that... Oh, no, look, look. I think we're trying to get that time. We're trying to get a different time. Okay, got it. So zoom in on the clock again. Let's get the face off. So I'm pretty sure this one I can't move. But this one potentially can. It looks like a compass. Uh, and what is this? Oh, so this is telling me if I look at a star, that will point towards the star. Is that what it's telling me? So if we go back to this and then zoom out on this top one. Oh, look, we have a little a little planet thing. Is that the star? It's like, oh, yeah, look, it's magnetic. It's got paper clips and stuff on it. So if I swap those around <gasps> it moves okay so if we swap them i think that's now pointing the right direction so we can shove that on it we can shove that on it zoom out of this and then we're at the right time i think oh no look the hands are the wrong way round i gotta swap the blue and the red how do i swap those around i didn't know i could swap the red one could i no let's take all these off and then zoom out on this one there must be a way to it sort of looks like there's a tap up there i wonder if that links to like another photo let's keep an eye on the background maybe move around this one and oh here we go here we go if we zoom in there that's going to heat it up so if we zoom no not out if we zoom in on this one we can then shove that there probably zoom in on that there we go temperature's going up so we've got to get it to the opposite side and then it's at the right point nice so we zoom out on that we've got to go back to the star on this bottom left one so that was over this way on this planet thing so there's the star which means i've got to move that over to there the star down to there zoom in on this arrow Oh, it's cooled down now. I'll tell you what then. I think I've got to... If I just leave that there, then this blue one will always point at it. So I've just got to do it all here, right? Zoom out on this. There you go. It's heating up again. And this blue one's in the right place. So I think this time we've actually done it. So zoom in, grab that, move it over to there, put that up there. And then finally, when we zoom out, the telescope man. Yes, he's looking at it because we found the star. Because wow. remember in the briefcase, it said the star will appear at that time. Oh, that's why. This is so cool. I'm loving this game. So let's zoom in on the star. And then I'm guessing if we zoom out on this, we can go back to where was it over this way and if i zoom into the moon can i shove the moon on it i can it's a see-through moon and then moth is attracted to the moon oh man imagine a moth like to scale with that size moon that would be terrifying yeah then we can zoom in on the moth and we're getting closer to its lemon give me your lemon moth so again drag that out the way zoom out on that one. Oh, what is that that's a bit weird if i'm honest not gonna lie we'll zoom out on this one and i think if we head back through here we're in the graveyard now i guess if we put that down there that one next to it it all links together so the kid he's finally heading towards his lemon it's been a long a long journey for the lemon there we go the stars are moving in the background and there it is into his bowl because it's under the thing nice that's it son eat that lemon up so now what do we do i guess we go we can go oh no the kid's not there the kid's not there Oh, but we can. We can go see the bookshelf. Oh, no, the kid's falling. <laughs> Why are you dreaming about the kid falling? Or is that you? That might be him. 
Anyway, on this left one, we're gonna go this way. Oh, there's a kid. Yeah, not gonna lie, mate. I don't think this is gonna end well for you. Oh, do you think that's how he ends up with the crutches? Oh man, I'm 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 getting ahead of myself here. Stop thinking ahead. All right, I tell you what, guys, we're gonna leave that there for this time. Uh, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments and boost the like button so I know that you're enjoying it. And uh, we'll do another video next time. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and cool puzzle games. Bye.